Hi, I'm Hells. I'm on a work away in Baku Hijar, which means green mangroves, and it's in Malaysia. This project is situated on the River Murbok, which you can see here, and has several focuses, one of which is tourism. Here's the houseboat in which the tourists can stay. There's the oyster farm. We grow oysters, and at the end there, that's just the accommodation and seating area. On the other side of the river, you can see the mangrove swamps, uh, which stretch for miles on both sides. Unfortunately, because the wood is so good for construction and for charcoal, it's being removed at a rapid rate of knots. And another function of this project is to replace it by replant. And this is a classroom that's been built. Might look like a cage, but that's to make it monkey proof. Monkeys are back. So let me show you around the rest of the project. This is the dining area. This is the kitchen. And we'll go out. Okay, going out to the facilities. That's the shed. Here we have the toilets, actual flushing toilets. Look at that, luxury. And here is one of the showers. We have two showers, quick demo, hot and cold running water, obviously. Not, just cold. Okay, so. The tour continues. This is the path down to the pontoon. In here are the oyster baskets. See more of those later. And here's the seating area. From the communal area, we're going upstairs. And welcome to our bedroom. That's my bed and that's my pile of shit. Here we have the mangrove nursery. So these are seeds that have been recently planted and these have probably been here for a couple of months and they're now ready to be replanted out in the mangrove forests. So here are my mangrove seeds that I collected this morning. So basically they get planted this end down, that's, that's the top, that's the bottom, and there we go, that's planted. Okay. The intrepid explorer is taking her kayak and going to fill her basket with mangrove seeds from the mangrove forest across the river. Let's hope this doesn't end in tears. So high excitement here in the kayaking world in the mangrove swamps because I have found my first seed. See that? There it is. Very happy. I've actually seen several it's just I couldn't get to them. Who knew it would be so difficult? Still out in the swamps, just about to demonstrate 
one of my three methods for catching these things. If I can, I'm just stuck under a branch. And this is the, the drag method on that using the, what are they called? Them anyway, tubers? No, I think not. Uh, we've got two other methods um, that I've created. This is the drive-by technique. There it goes. Very difficult hand-eye driving coordination required. And, oh, what's the last one? Oh, the um, drop and putt. So this third technique. Uh, I have a bit of a fix, really. It's difficult. 7 p.m. And this is how many seed pods I've collected. Um, not bad, I guess. And I think the sun is going to go down shortly. I need to get over... Oh, oh I don't think you can see it. Over there. I'm still on my search for seeds. So I'm walking along the riverbank and looking along the high tide mark uh, to see where the seeds have been washed up and here we go there's one only slightly worried about the treacherous mud is it treacherous okay here we have the results of this morning's foraging half an hour's work quite muddy feet uh, and quite a few mosquito bites we now have quality control who are now throwing out all my good work okay. saying they're not fit for use and here's two and a half hours of paddling collection so it doesn't take a genius to work out which is a better use of my time so obviously tonight I'll be back in the kayak last few days I've probably collected 200 mangrove shoots and planted them and yet this is our uh, funeral pyre these are all the shoots that were thrown away today because they're dead and many of them have a good root system but probably due to insufficient watering they're dead look at all those that's really frustrating, to say the least. Here are all the oyster baskets that have been used. They're covered in barnacles and they need to be cleaned. So I'm going to clean some oyster baskets. So let's see how this works, videoing me cleaning an oyster tray with this implement. This one's been cleaning for a few minutes now. Um, this one's pretty clean. Matsu's just got up to oyster baskets and the oysters need cleaning. So the oysters have to be cleaned regularly and put back in the baskets. And then they're just cleaned of barnacles. Um, with the scraper but these we have a customer coming today to eat these so these have to be scrubbed as well
Matsu quality controller is clearly checking. That's what we've just cleaned. Final stages. And they are ready to be sold. Apparently there's an art to shucking an oyster. Oh, is it called is. shucking? Huge. Huge and meaty. Yeah. Here we are. They've been shucked. Ready to be eaten. <laughs> and they're pretty plump. Here's the oyster I'm going to try. This is five ringgit worth. That's the price they charge the customers. Not very much, eh? Not when it takes a y over a year for this to grow. Here's my oyster and just need to prepare it. Preparing the condiments, that's chilli sauce, and crispy onions, I onions, think. Like onions. and then peanuts. peanuts in the chilli sauce. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Do I do this? Yeah. Bit of lemon juice. Bit of chilli, bit of onion. Okay. Salam alaikum. Delicious. Salam. Job done. Here's fig. <laughs> And Pally's run away because he's embarrassed. But after several hours of hard labour, this is what we've created. I don't know if you can see that. It's a handrail with supports. Okay, and for example, this support doesn't reach the handrail and the bracket. That's our bracket with nails. And, um, this tree is kind of proving to be in the way. I didn't think I was a DIY expert, but uh, compared to some people. But anyway, lack of equipment and lack of screws, uh, lack of drills, etc. Um, is this is okay this morning? My intrepid leaders, Pally and Fig, are taking me on an outing. Uh, there's there's Pally hates to be videoed, but I've got him. And this is Fig. They're both interns, and today Fig can't speak. Whew, we're leaving. Road trip. seems to be like a bit of a metropolis at our breakfast stop. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Ya, ya. Hello. Here's our breakfast: rice, sambal, and kind of little fried fish. Oh, and I've got an egg on top. So this is a palm plantation. Here's our mangrove nursery. And we're going to create uh, a shelter using the nets. So we've got this frame. Just going to hang the nets over. Um, we'll see what it looks like at the end. Here I am sewing two nets together so we can shade our mangrove shoots. Um, And now the cat wants to join in, so making work a little bit difficult. <laughs> Belly has now Life taken mine. over the sewing responsibility. <laughs> This is part of his intern training, apparently. Needle craft. And he's actually going to be a marketing graduate. Yeah. Get your head around that. Oyster cleaning and needlework. So we're just finishing off our covered mangrove nursery and this epic construction it's only taken about eight hours being a little bit emotional job well done <laughs>